On the surface, technology ethics seems easy. Just don't do anything that's wrong when you're designing a product, developing code, running a company, or using the internet. But what exactly does it mean to be wrong about something? Philosophers have been arguing about this question for thousands of years, and there are multiple ways to think about the answer. If we assume that there are no universally accepted norms of right and wrong, then these notions are always relative. Right and wrong might be subjective, with each of us deciding what they mean on our own. Or they might be cultural, and tied to long-standing practices and traditions within a society. We could also turn to religious guidance. Good actions align with the will of God, while bad actions run to the contrary. But how exactly does one map emerging technologies to ancient scriptures? Does it always make sense to make a decision based on obedience instead of reason, especially in the rational context of computing? Kant suggested that we develop a sense of dutifulness, which is an understanding of moral rules that inform us of what we ought to do. These rules should be universal and should not lead to actions that use people as a means to an end. But this only works if we can characterize an action. When it comes to computer technology, sometimes that's difficult. For instance, what if a computer worm is designed to break into your computer in order to fix a security vulnerability it exploited? Is this a good action or a bad action? Bentham and Mill looked at this problem under the framing of utility. An action is considered right or wrong to the extent that it increases or decreases the total happiness of the affected parties. Computer scientists love this interpretation because it's possible to formalize utility as a function in code. This is something we do all of the time in subfields of the discipline, like artificial intelligence. But there's a catch. Sometimes you have to formalize something that can't be quantified, like an emotion. At that point, you might as well just be guessing. Are any of these philosophers right in their thinking? That might be the question you're asking yourself right now, but it turns out it's not the most important one. So what can we learn from philosophy that will help us with tech ethics? The act of questioning itself turns out to be the most useful thing here. Ethics isn't a widget you plug into a product cycle to get the right answer. Figuring out if something is right or wrong is a process. Sometimes we'll have to revise our thinking. Sometimes we'll even have to acknowledge that we don't know the answer. And maybe that in and of itself gets us to back away from creating something that is potentially problematic. Bottom line, don't hesitate to ask good questions about the technologies you encounter.